Hello, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up your own home security system. Now, you'll need two pieces of software and obviously a webcam. First piece of software, ManyCam, link in the description below, and your cam. The link is in, in, in the description too. So download these two pieces of software. Pause the video while you wait. There is nothing complicated in both setups. So once you have downloaded the two pieces of software, you want to go into your cam. I've already got mine open. Go into edit settings. Make sure HTTP is enabled. FTP just makes it slower. I don't know why that option is there. and go anyway go into edit settings just leave your connection alone if you want to save it I would save it as a GIF file go ahead and and if you want to save it but it will take up a lot of memory if you want to archive your file so I'm not going to do that now because it will take up a lot of space. So, this is your actual HTTP menu. Your URL will be stated below the image quality bar. So, you can also add overlaid text. You can add up to four pieces of text. This is not very advanced though, so also add four images and you can have an offline image when you're not online just choose any image you want password you can also add a username and password which I would recommend for home security systems of course but if you're using this for another purpose then you can still use a password but I would not recommend using it if you want to schedule and announce Hit your online, then you go on those two at the bottom. Now, go into now once you've sorted that out, go into ManyCam. ManyCam is pretty useful. You can add text over video. Dynamic effects. And when you're actually using eyes, you can, well, no, not eyes, I mean, um, when your webcam is actually in use, you can click on any of them and, all, and they will all work. So, they're just the effects here. So, back to the point. Going to your, um, go onto the HTTP menu. You can, you can copy. No, you can't copy. You'll have to go into your browser. Make sure you put HTTP in front of it. Now type in that IP address below the slider. 192.168 by the way this is my IP address so use yours otherwise this will not work and here we are this is your webcam feed it will take a while to set itself up so yeah, here we are. Give it about five minutes and then it will start to move. This is not a flash, so it is a JavaScript, so that's why it's a little bit slower than normal. Not a little bit, a lot, but not a very advanced JavaScript. It's pretty old software. So yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.